Hello everybody and welcome back to another Steam free to play review. Today I just finished Tales of Blood... Oh, wait a second. Oh, I gotta look it up. <laughs> That's too long. The True Tales of Blood Street 13. So this is a social puzzle game is what they call it on Steam. It's pretty interesting. If you played Return of the Oberdeen, if you haven't played Return of the Oberdeen, I definitely recommend that. That's a very interesting game. That was a good game. This has a lot of the same aspects of it. There's a lot of voice acting in the game, like almost everything's spoken, so you don't have to read too much. They'll read it to you, unless you read the bonus things like the newspapers and the letters. The letters seem to be impactful to the story. The newspapers just to be, seem to give you like a presence of the time they're in in the story. So I wouldn't... This newspaper just kind of gets on my nerves more than anything, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's neat. If you if you are interested in that time period, it's cool to see the things. And it's a story set in London, apparently, according to the newspaper. And it's one of those games where you play through the point of view of certain characters and have to figure out exactly how the story went. So in The Return of the Oberdeen, there was like multiple ways to do certain things. In this, there's one way to do it. Like, there's a specific way to play through this that they want you to do. And if you don't do it that way, then you're going to have to replay it. It does tell you when you've done it the right way, though. Return of the Oberdeen is just hard. That's a hard game. It took me forever to beat that thing. Oh my gosh. But this one, you can go through it. And it, it might take a, like a few playthroughs, but you'll get it eventually. It's nothing that's super difficult. And I, I'm going to release the walkthrough as soon as I can with this as well so if you want, just want to see the story and what's going on and not actually play through it then you'll be able to do that the the story is pretty interesting it's not got me too hooked yet like they've left a little bit too much unanswered and I hate when they do this in puzzle games I hate or like story games I hate when they release it by chapter I hate that because usually the first chapter will be free and then the second chapter will cost money. Which even then, that's not the problem. If the game's good enough, I I'm fine with playing a demo and then being like, okay, the game's good enough, I'll pay for the whole thing. The thing is, I hate playing the first chapter and, <laughs> and then having to wait to get the rest of the story because I get unimmersed by the time the second chapter comes out, which really is awful. <laughs> like, I really hate it. But the drawing, like the paper animation for the characters is really neat and the story seems pretty good so far from what I've gotten it does go a little bit long enough to introduce the characters and kind of give you the gravity of the situation and characters can die so you gotta play to like if it's a main character you have to play so they don't die also there was a puzzle at one point which killed one of my main characters and it was just you're on a ledge and you're supposed to hold the S key, but it gives you option pressing the W and the S key. So I pressed the W key because I was like, oh, well, it might just want me to press them both, but no. But even if you do that, what's just annoying, the guy dies anyways. I figured that out by the end of the walkthrough because I had to see if he was going to die anyways or like how that affected the story. If you could keep everybody alive, that's not an option. One of them's going to die, and it has to be the side character. Some of the characters are really interesting, some of the characters are bloody annoying. Oh my gosh. There's one called Veronic, and she just makes me want to quit playing the game. She makes me so mad. I hate her. I hate her voice. I, no, I don't hate her voice. I hate just the things she says. Her says. Because it... Like, say there's two options. I hate when they do this in games. They give you two options, right? One was blame Bill, one was tell the truth. So the chick goes out the window, and she falls and dies, pretty much, right? So, when they give me the blame Bill option, I didn't click that at first. I clicked the tell the truth, and she still blames Bill. I hate options like that. I hate when they force you into something, so no matter which one you do, it doesn't matter. So, Aubrey had like multiple endings. I think this is definitely going to be a one ending game just because they want you to do specific things. Obviously, when you're playing through, you'll notice that. Um, there doesn't seem to be too much searching, like a searching component to it. It kind of seems like everything's just kind of laid out there. You're basically just playing through a movie kind of thing with the off chance of dying and having to redo certain parts. The narration's really good. I really like how they did that. It really adds some, like, 
atmosphere to the situation. But also, they have some light plot holes too, because my thing is, this is just, uh, if you're gonna show a room and say there's no exit, don't show like 12 windows in that room. <laughs> like, what's even worse is, you have to go upstairs to go out the window when there's 12 windows on the first room without going upstairs you could literally just open or break one of those windows climb out of it and be outside without having the risk tripping and falling so I don't things like that like just don't make a room with windows if you're gonna like act like there's no windows because that literally just puts a hole in the whole plot of the game but other than that, it was a pretty good game. I like where it's going. Uh, I'd probably give it a... Right now, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. That's the score I would give it. Just because until they release further chapters, there's no reason to <laughs> really... Unless you just want to like start on the game, there's really no reason to play through it. But I can realize that it has some things that they do really well. Like the narration, the voice acting, the... Um, Characters are semi-interesting. Also, there's a language warning because Bill likes to cuss a lot, so that's a heads up if you don't like mature language. Um, yeah, but that's what I'd give the game. It's it's neat, but it really just seems like a really worse version of the Auburn. But it is free though, so that's where it kind of offsets. And maybe eventually they'll like release the full game. I don't know. I'm still waiting for the full release of Dark Deception that hasn't even came out yet. So. Thanks for watching as always. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!